Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez. I'm so happy you're all here. I'm happy that you're sharing time and space with me. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the support and all that love and all that um, those wonderful comments that you leave. Uh, whether you say them to me in person, no, during the service or um, in the comments. I do appreciate it and I do love it. I just wanna let y'all know that. I love it, I love all of yous and I thank all of yous as well. Thank you everyone. Um, hi, Angela. Um, I do have an announcement. Hold on, I gotta write it down here and I'll just put, like I have a um, community candle. Um, yeah, community candle for healing and love. Yes, yes. A community candle for healing and love. If you are interested in that, um, it is a seven-day candle. Metatron says that it will go on to the eighth day. He keeps he keeps saying it's going to go on a little bit more to, than seven, but um, it will be the eighth and eight-day candle. Um, and it's for healing, for love. Um, it's also to remove blocks as well. I'm going to have it set to that. I... Um, I am form formulating, right, the intention or the prayer that I will be doing, but it's for stuff like that, for removing blocks and um, bringing in new vitality and new life. So I, if you are interested in getting that candle, if you want participating, you can check it out on my Calendly. Yes, yes, my Calendly. Yeah. Is there anything else you want me to say about the candle itself? Metatron says the candle is going to be very powerful, um, very powerful shift. Um, I see the shift hitting around your sacro and your solar plexus and expanding. So you're going to be, uh, there's going to be a new version of you popping up as a result of this. Yeah. I. Oh yeah. That's is where it's at, isn't it? Um, you will release the old version with the candle and then this new better version is going to pop out. All right. Um, yeah. I also have, now that we are on that, I have a group guided group guided meditation on 10 14 if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure that's the day hold on let me just double check that let me double check yes oh yeah it's next saturday if you are interested in getting that group guided meditation you can check that out on my calendly as well um i recommend anyone who is interested in that ah uh, but that my i my internet I think it'll be fine. I didn't I didn't double check the internet anyway. I think we're okay. Um, if you are interested in group guided meditation, it's all about releasing the old, everything about it, but it, more like the energy <laughs> of the old. And um, I will be opening up a portal for a new life for all of you. So those who really want to make a massive shift in their life, right? You know, um, this is a great way to do it. I will put the energy inside of you that will help manifest that rapidly so if you are interested in that that calls out to you then you're ready if it doesn't call out to you don't get it because it's not going to be for you but for those of you that feel like i need a shift like that um i i i need help with that shift as well those that feel that that in their your heart um then it's time for you to make that decision to like be there so <laughs> next saturday um it will be about 40 minutes i don't know though I actually i've never done it before but you know keep the hour open anyway is there anything that you want to say about that um sorry saint germain says he wants to bring something up it will help remove blocks to love and help you channel higher frequencies of love as well the beans light have already planned it out what they are, are going to do um but that is going to be a key component i don't know who needs to hear that but you will be able to channel higher frequencies of love so those of you that want to have the frequency of love that i have higher frequencies right yeah it takes work right um it also takes some commitment and, and it, it's it takes walking the path so this is a really good step in that direction and i will be able to place those frequencies of love in your heart um saint germain says it will be palladian palladian frequencies uh, are most likely what i will be placing palladian love frequencies in the heart um so if you are interested in that if that sticks out to you um go ahead and book i also have <laughs> hi everyone one other thing um Live readings on Callan. Um, live readings. Yes, this is the other one. Um, I didn't put for the live readings uh, a way to book. Um, I didn't change the date, and that is obviously so purposeful. So whoever needed the extra time to know if they wanted a live reading for me or not, um, I, you have it. it. It just happened anyway. I so I didn't put the. Uh, I didn't change the date. It's exactly how it had to be. So I understand that. Um, but if you are interested in getting a live reading, I will be doing them tomorrow at, I think it's three. I don't remember what time it is. Um, 
limited spots, by the way, it always books, um, but I had not put any way to book it. So um, it is what it is. It's exactly what it needs to be. So if you're interested in getting like a reading from me um, and from the Beans Light I work with, uh, you can purchase that or any other services that I have. And yeah, I think that's all I got. I know it was like a long one. I know I don't normally have in, uh, stuff like that, but I just got to make it very clear. I have multiple things I'm offering right now. Um, if anything calls out to you, only get it if it calls out to you, um, then get it. Um, trust yourself. All right. <laughs> that's all you got to do. Trust yourself. Don't, don't trust me per se. Okay. But yeah. Um, I guess that's it. We're going to be doing a reading focused on what your person's life is like without you in it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the signs they're giving it to me that we'll have some guidance, but that's it. It's going to be very clean cut. My usual readings. All right. So we're going to go from Aries all the way down to Pisces. And I just want to say hi to everyone. Um, let's see. Uh, hi to everyone. Oh, um, entity clearing. I, I will not be doing entity clearing. Um, actually, the all the entities that pop on me are cleared normally. Um, so maybe I don't know. I I don't know. I don't. I'm not offering entity clearing. I don't like um when they swarm me and they do it all the time. I get swarmed no matter what. So I don't actually like entity clearings. Um, it, it just it drives drives me nuts. It takes time to clear them all. Um, but if you are interested in entity clearing, there is a person um, that you can go to. And uh, her name is Laura Nani. Um, if you are interested in that, she's who I go to if I needed an entity clearing. She actually is the person I seen last. Um, when I was having trouble with the really big one, she's the one I went to, although I had cleared it already, but it is what it is. It, it's like, you know, um, if you're interested in getting an entity clearing, this is the person that you're going to want to take a look at. Um, only get it if your heart calls out to you, um, but I am not offering entity clearings, okay? Um, I will not be offering those as well. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, okay, let's say, see, let's keep, let's start now from and go from Aries all the way down to Pisces. Let's do seven minutes. That's who's going to be answering our questions. We have St. Germain. I love that the beings like can touch me now because they just lifted me up, like stand up straight. <laughs> anyway, all righties, um, let's take a look here. So, St. Germain, can you tell me um, what is Aries' person's life? This is a note for no contact, right? Um, what is Aries' person's life like right now? Um, as St. Germain says that you will be happy to hear that this person is going through some healing and some evolution right now. Um, it sounds like a strange thing to say, but I see them walking through doors that are getting smaller. Like every door that they walk through, smaller and smaller and smaller. Can you tell me what does that mean exactly, St. Germain? What, what is that? It takes more and more commitment and conviction for them to make it through the doors. So right now they're being tested. This is very typical, by the way. The, the place that we live in, it very much is constantly testing, right? Because if you were to uh, move on to the next chapter and you weren't ready, you'd fail. And then you would be stuck forever, right? So you can't have that. So this person is actually being tested. They want a better life for themselves, but they're being tested again and again and again to make sure that they no longer want the old life. And it is such an important step in our evolutions. We all do it. Like we've all have, you all know, if you were to look back and think, yeah, I was tested or, you know, I could have settled, but I chose not to write something like this, right? This is someone who is going through this process where they're being tested to make sure that they want better for themselves. And that's a tricky business. And can we all be real about that? Uh, we all know that we have uh, all succumbed eventually, um, you know, from time to time when we settled and we shouldn't have, when we should have believed and we didn't, and we should have had faith and we, um, we were empty, right? And this is someone who's being tested. Do they have the faith? Do they have the conviction? Do they have the perseverance? Um, to leave the old completely, which is funny because that's my guided meditation. Oh, by the way, I didn't put Aries anywhere. <laughs> my bad, everyone. My bad, Aries. That I think if you feel called to entity clearing, you should probably do it because that coincidence, that's not that's the thing as a coincidence. Just keep that in mind, Aries. Uh, anyway, on there. Um, but they are going through these tests 
these hurdles, it looked to me at first like they're jumping through hoops. They need to, by the way. And I know that I think if you look high enough, you kind of get mad at that. Like, we shouldn't be that way. Um, in reality, can we all be real? We all know we have to go through those things or we would fall back into old patterns so easily. And this is exactly what's happening for this person. They have to live through this experience. Um, they have to be sure that they don't want the old anymore. And that's what the test is. That's what St. Germain says. The test is making sure you don't want it anymore. Um, Anyway, it's very interesting. Uh, we all have, we have these periodically do life, St. Germain says, um, and they're, they are exactly what needs to be. Okay. Um, what else is this person's life like right now? They are succeeding with the hoops that they're jumping, with the doors that they're walking, that are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, it's interesting. Um, I think it's important because uh, St. Germain did highlight this. The, when the doors get smaller, you know your opportunity to go back is less. So they know intuitively, innately, that what they're doing is leaving the past, even if they're not consciously aware of that. Intuitively, you know, and um, the energy is closing. It's like, they're, it's like the door gets so small, it closes them, it cuts them off from the past, and then they're able to move on to something better for themselves. And um, they're having success in this area right now, and they're having... Um, They're being guided to as well. Um, it, they're, they're, this is someone who is very sure that they want better for themselves. I feel like this area is going to be career for most of them, but it doesn't have to be. But it did it did feel like that was being highlighted a little bit, where they were not going to settle for career. Um, they want something more fulfilling. I, all too often, I don't know if you've, I, I see it a lot with people that I have interactions with and like my services where they, they make money, um, but they're not happy with that, right? They're not happy. And this is something like that. It's, it's a good example where it's like, it's like they're no longer setting, settling in that area, all right? Anything else, St. Germain, that you have that you want to give to Aries this day? He does want to say not all is lost here between you and this person. I know that this is a no-contact situation. And when it is for the highest good of all, um, you will be in each other's lives. And not until then. And I know that that is a hard thing to swallow. And I know that that can be very um, difficult to accept, but it absolutely is. Everything absolutely works perfectly here. And it's just that reminder that if it was for the highest good, you'd be in each other's lives. The fact that right now you're not, it is so purposeful. Um, use that purpose, right? Um, I don't know, honestly, honestly. It's honestly all you got at this point, but you know, you use that, or, you know, there's a reason that things are exactly where they are between you and this person. Um, search for it if you can't see it yet. That's not that's not the reason's fault, or you can't see it. It's yours, right? So make sure you're searching for that reason, and um, let that be the thing that guides you. All right, that's what I got from Saint Germain. I thank you, Aries. Don't forget to like and comment. So we're at 12 minutes. Oopsie, and. 55 seconds. Okay. Hi, everyone. I do appreciate all of you. Taurus. Oh, I will be having a podcast out soon. It's going to be a brand new one, by the way. I just, like, I just wanted to say that for some reason. Um, I'm having the artwork made, and then I will have... Actually, I'm my first guest star. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ask Laura, Laura um, Nani, the one who does entity clearings. I'm gonna ask her. So she's probably gonna be my first guest. If you, you know... Um, be on the lookout for that. I, it is in the works. I've set things in motion. <laughs> anyway, all right, all right. So St. Jimmy, can you tell me what is Taurus, this person's life like without Taurus in it? Um, they are going through a lot of childhood traumas and they're dealing with them. There's a lot of process here. This person holds their childhood trauma and St. Jimmy gives me the feeling that this is typical in their belly, right? Um, at the lower parts of their belly. I, I know... I don't, I don't even know how all of you, but I've never thought about us holding so much pain in the gut, but we really do. It's like, there's so much there. If you have not gotten your gut cleared out, like I don't, like you're missing out because it's amazing. Um, but this person currently is going through their childhood trauma, going through all of their childhood issues. Um, and the, the, our child, you know, experience doesn't, always taken doesn't usually take account for logic right so a lot of times even though we know that i guess our parents need to work a lot to support us we still feel abandoned stuff like that it's it's uh, things like that that are popping up for this person where they that feeling was still there um and that feeling um needs to be 
honored, right? And it needs to be healed through. Um, so they're doing stuff like that right now. It's a real beautiful step in the right direction for this person, but it's all about that gut. Um, and so much of our pain, so much of our trauma, it, we just hold it in the in the intestines and um, I don't know, just that the just the belly itself, right? It's such an odd thing. Saint Germain is it tells me that um, the fact that we have a belly, it was for this. It was this is the purpose of the belly. Um, it, it needs to go somewhere, so it's concentrated in that area. So he says. Anyway, um, I didn't know that, but it, it's it's exactly what needs to be. Let's see. Um, what else is their life like without Taurus in it? A lot of growing pains with this person. There's a lot of stuff that they are very resistant to accepting. And this is very typical for people because of the human mind, the construct that is the human mind. It really convinces us that life is a certain way, right? But it's not. We, we, we you know, we can see it constantly where it's not playing out that way. If, it, if life were that way, it'd play out that way. It doesn't. And this is someone where they were very resistant to embracing facts and truths and um, inner knowings and even guidance and even the beings of light. I'm very resistant to every, everything about growth and evolution and even consciousness. Uh, very, very resistant. Um, they're no longer that resistant to this process. And they're no longer allowing their human mind to control them. And that is one of the biggest steps I think I've had to take personally um, was when I took control of my mind rather than letting my human mind take control of me and I think they're on that step. They're on that process right now where they're learning to take the reins. I mean, it's such a beautiful thing because our mind, I don't know if you know this, but our mind's so nasty. It's always telling you the worst things and it's its cruel. And it just fills you with all this negativity. Those thoughts are not you. And this is someone who's remembering and realizing that those things that they think about themselves are not them and they're not true and they're not right. And uh, it, this all stems from them going to their uh, childhood and healing it. And it's a beautiful experience. It's like, um, sorry, I see this person walking through like some wooded bushy area into a beautiful garden. That's the where they're walking into. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Let's see, let's see. Is there anything else you want to say for, um, uh, for Taurus? Take a look here. That is it for them. Anything you want to say to Taurus personally? Compassion, yeah. Hard business. Um, you know, earlier today I was thinking to myself, and I had a, something they had the beans like played a flash in my mind of someone. It was from a private reading, I won't call them out, but you know, um, where they weren't being compassionate, where they weren't being forgiving. And they gave me a chance because in that moment I didn't say this, but they gave you know, the flash gave me a chance to to pull the knowledge I was meant to pull in that moment, but I wasn't able to. And the truth is, whenever we're not being compassionate, whenever we're not being um, forgiving, that's not us. That's our human mind, right? Period, end of story. That's not us. Our soulful self, the real us, it's always compassionate, it's always loving, it's always forgiving. And there's, it's never wrong to do those things. And it's just something to think about. I don't know. They just gave me that flash. Since you just gave me that flash. Remember, they gave you this earlier. Um, I wanted to say that, you know. Anyway, I thank you, Taurus. Don't forget to like and comment. So we are at 18 minutes and 20 seconds for Gemini. Hi, everyone. I do appreciate all of you. So let's see. Let's see, Gemini. Let's take a look here. Um, Gemini, Gemini. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to put this. <laughs> you know, this is funny. Yeah, there it is. All right. You know, I swear there's someone who must want to book for the live readings but they won't get a chance to if it gets booked up too quickly. I swear it's a, because this has happened twice now, like where it's not, I, I keep forgetting and I'm not forgetting on purpose. It's, it's happening because it's a, it's for someone's getting help here. That's all I got to say about that. Someone's getting a lot of help um, to book a live stream reading. So there you go. Anyway, uh, might even be a Gemini. I don't know. Anyway, so let's see. Let's take a look here. Uh, St. Germain, can you tell me what are Gem what is Gemini's person's life like without Gemini in it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. It feels like you dumped this person in a life that they don't want to be in. It it's an odd thing to say. The air came up. Ooh. But the way that St. Germain is telling me is that you left them. You cut them off or you said you had enough, something like this. 
And what's interesting is that when they were connected to you, you were lifting them out of that horrible situation that was their life, um, was the people around them, their work situations, um, even their home, right? Home probably nasty, who knows, right? But there's something like this at play. You were lifting them up and helping them realize that they deserve better. But when you cut them off, when you just, when you went like this, right? Um, they just dropped right into that reality, but deeper than they were before. So what this person's life is like right now is all of the BS that, uh, that they, they don't want, but they are kind of trapped by. Uh, St. Germain says it's kind of like um, tar. Tar is a good way to put it, right? Or I, I don't know. I've never been in tar before, but I imagine you sink in it. But I don't know. You, you can you can tell me anyway. But it, it's like tar, where it's like these things are just pulling on this person, and that's where they are. It's what their life consists of right now. And some of them are freer than others of this tar, but it's still there. And it was your influence, it was your energy, and it was your impact on them that helped them decide that they deserve more. But when you cut them off, they just went right back into this um, full throttle, really. And that's kind of where they've stayed for a long time. And although I do see that some of them getting up and moving from, from this place, right, this tarry place, they have not made much progress. Let me see what's holding this person up. I think, okay, St. Germain says, when we have someone in our life that believes in us, that really believes in us, it helps us believe in ourselves. Since you cut that off from this person, um, maybe you don't believe in them, I don't know, right? Since that energy was cut off from them, they have a hard time believing in themselves now. And it is not that you're meant to be there, no, but it is meant for this person to learn to believe in themselves. Right now, they're having trouble, right? If they believed in themselves, they would not stay um, in their situation. Sorry about the internet, everyone it is what it is. Um, they will not stay in their situation. They would move. In fact, that's what was happening when you were giving them the belief they needed to give themselves. And you're not meant to do that for people uh, forever, right? You're meant to just give them a slice, give them a taste, and, and they got to figure out how to do it themselves. But that's what happened here. Um, they haven't figured it out. They don't, they don't believe that they deserve more um, and the reason why they don't believe that they deserve more has nothing to do with you, has everything to do with um, to do with themselves, right? Learning to believe in themselves and learning to believe that they deserve better and that they should go after it. Very interesting. They're stuck. They're stuck in that, by the way. Let me see. Um, anything else that you want to say in this? They have had experiences that have lifted them up. You know, um, St. Germain switched the example. Do you know in a carnival, I am watching the Amazon movie. It, it's, it's like Killer Night or something like that. It's I have watched like, I, I don't know, I'm at 20 minutes in or something. It's real good. I like, I'm going to finish it when I go back there. Anyway, I think it's that. It, it's something like that. But it, it, they in that movie, they had a carnival. And it's giving me that, St. Germain's giving me that example where, you know, when you throw a ball and it hits the target and they drop into the water, they've had those experiences where they were lifted up, right? Um, they still didn't, they're, they're not connecting the dots though, right? Um, what's lifting them up is belief in the self. And if they can simply believe in themselves, they can lift themselves up and start flying. And they're not really doing that right now. So real sad, by the way. I mean, it's some sad stuff, but it is exactly where they need to be to learn the lesson to believe in themselves. It, it's We all know this, right? Um, anyways, anything else you want to say, St. Germain, for Gemini? To hold space and love for this person, um, because they're taking so long, St. Germain says that it can make you maybe bitter or something, or because maybe you, maybe you're waiting. I don't know. And you follow your heart on that one, but whatever, sometimes when it takes a long time, you may get bitter or you may um, start to lose hope. Um, follow your heart. There's no need to lose hope. There's no need to get better. Um, there's no need for bitterness, right? Um, it's just that reminder. Uh, I don't know if this is a subconscious thing. Um, I actually see it happening on your heart um, near the back of it, but also towards the side and the front as well. So there's some energy that's building up there when you think about them. Um, wash that off. Um, and always have love, always have compassion, always hold space for them. They are doing the best that they can. Um, it just according to you and what you're capable of, it doesn't seem much, right? But they are trying their best. And 
Um, your heart should go out to them. It's the message anyway. It is, it is the message. Your heart should go out to them. Your um, compassion to, to reach them. Your um, holding space, right? Um, should They should feel that from you, okay? So it's just something to think about, um, to have more of that. Yeah, that's it. Anything else? Anything else? I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, thank you, St. Germain. Don't forget to like and comment um, a Gemini. Hi, everyone. So we're at 24. Oh, the internet. Is the internet fine, everyone? I hope it's fine. I, it keeps messing up. You know, I'm sure it's okay. The voice is usually fine. If it's not, it wasn't meant to be. Okay, that just is what it is. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look here. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Who's going to answer St. Germain again? St. Germain, can you tell me? Um, He wants me to take a sip of my matcha. <clears throat> um, St. Germain, can you tell me what are cancers, what's cur cancer's person's life without cancer in it? Do they live in a studio or like a really small one bedroom? it's what I got, but I feel that is obviously going to be a message for someone, but the message that I am getting for all of you is, is this is someone who feels very isolated and closed off right now. Um, it is of their own making. They wanted this experience. It's very interesting. I think this person has an avoidance issue or they don't want to be emotionally open and vulnerable to people because they have a life now where they're stuck in, in between four walls and a roof. Um, it, it's like they're stuck here and it is something that they wanted for themselves. And it's something that they, um, it's something that, that uh, it, it's, it's a path that they took. And it's a path, it's like they made it there. Oops, I forgot about that cancer. Um, it's a path that, um, that they took, it's a path that they, that led them there. And now they're living this experience and not too happy about it. Um, Okay, I have an example coming through from St. Germain. St. Germain says, it's like one of those really old people who's been hurt before and they don't want to fall in love again. That's who they are, like on an energy sort of level, right? They're the kind of person that has, they, they feel like an old person. If you ever see people in your mind's eye and you can see what they look like, you really do see um, the truth <laughs> about what version they are, what energy they're embodying. And right now this person is embodying old man energy, bitter old man energy. And this energy makes them not want to open their heart anymore. What's the point, right? They always lose people or love always gets, they always get hurt. Something like this, some crazy nonsense like this. So now they let themselves into this four walls and a roof where they're not currently stuck and they're not happy, but they're not threatened either. So that is currently this person's life experience. Um, music came through for um, them. Oh, I know what it's talking about. I, I, was, I was wondering, because uh, I had got a message already that this person, things are helping them remove that energy. Music is a really big in, a factor here. When they listen to music, let their guard down. They're more open and receptive, and they're able to feel more. So... Um, this person is working through this. Um, they've made it to where they wanted to make it, which is to be completely isolated and um, protected and walled up, right? What's the point? But that music is tearing down those defenses. That music is helping them shift their, their perception and even their energy. And it is... Um, it's very interesting. Uh, St. Germain is saying the taste of music has changed. I think at first it was really slow music, probably a bunch of Adele. I don't know. And now it's becoming more like um, fist pumping music. Like they're, they want to live life. And they're remembering that they're not as old as they thought they were. They're remembering that they are, they're not as weak as they thought they were. They're remembering that they still want to try. That's real beautiful, by the way. Uh, but the music, the music itself is what's getting this person to um, to shift their energy, to release that old man bitter energy, that grumpy old man. Yeah, there it is, grumpy old man energy. They're releasing that. Men or women doesn't matter. It's the energy itself. And very interesting, very interesting. Anything else? St. Therain for Cancer. He's, uh, anything you want to say to Cancer this day? Yes, he has a, a suggestion for you, Cancer. He would like for you, I feel like you're where you are right now is a pivotal moment in time. He would like for you to write down things that you want to do for yourself in, on a list. It doesn't have to be that long, right? Um, and start to check those things off. 
uh, from your list. So let's say you want to go skydiving. Uh, let's say you want to go jet skiing. I don't know. I, I don't know what we're th what your things are, but let's say whatever's on the list, do it, right? Uh, write it down now, and then you can start to plan these things ahead, and you will be able to move in those directions because the experiences that your heart and your energy is calling out to are very important for you. Um, likely, there's going to be activations there. I know that we may think um, us developing our spiritual gifts is practicing it. And that is true. <laughs> it's not, not true. But sometimes us developing our spiritual gifts can simply be us having more fun and um, we can pull in better energy so that we can activate our gifts further. So it's something to think about. There's something that you want that these experiences that you will write down that you want to do will help you achieve in an indirect sort of way. Um, so know that your heart is always leading you in the right direction and it, it's leading you to more fun, um, things that you want to do, things that you, that are calling out to you that you just, you've not g given yourself the pleasure. Yeah. Um, St. Germain says, give yourself the pleasure one by one. Um, and some of you this physical pleasure. Why not? Right. But whatever it is, um, Whatever it is, you need to experience those things, okay? I thank you, Cancer. Don't forget to like and comment. All righty. So we're at, um, oh, wait, 30, 44, Leo. Okay. Okay, well, let's take a look here. Leo, I capitalize your L, Leo. So you should, you owe me a like now, all right? Um, let's take a look here, Leo, Leo, Leo. St. Germain, can you tell me what are Leo, what's Leo's person's life like without Leo in it? Um, a very, very much the same. I do feel like you, this person that you are referring to has a massive blind spot. You know how, mm, it's real interesting. You may have this one as well where you're you're very unhappy or maybe they are i think it's them but i think you have it as well so just take it how it resonates anyway but i think that this person has a really big blind spot that is keeping them from seeing just how unhappy they are and how unsatisfied they are with their life um it, it is saint germain says this is very typical for leo energy it, I, I had a feeling he's saying it i knew it um it's very typical don't be in denial okay face it change it and you can make the difference in your life. Anyway, I want, uh, I, I knew I just, I felt it just like creep into me. So just be aware of this anyway. But this person has that very same blind spot. They have that very same issue where they want to pretend that they're okay. When things are not okay. They want to pretend that they're fine with everything when they are not fine with everything. Do not be this person. Um, you have to face those things and you have to be willing to. Uh, he's saying, St. Germain's saying is to use that strength that you have within you to face these things. You have it. Um, you may have, it may have been lost or you may have forgot you had it, but you are strong enough to face it. I think this person, whoever you're dealing with, is not strong enough to face the things that are making them unhappy. Um, and uh, avoiding it, ignoring it, pretending like it doesn't exist isn't going to work. It isn't. Um, and it's not been working. And this is kind of where their life is currently. So right now, me looking at their life, I'm like, oh my, oh, wow. Oh, it's like, wow, are you going to do anything about this? But they, their perception is there's nothing to do anything about because they think they're okay and they're not. Um, this is someone who is uh, fully in denial. I wonder how this happens. It's, it's like a complete blind spot. I just see like a very thick wall here. Oh, it's energy. Um, it's the ego as well. It, it's energy that blockage that they create, um, but also the ego creates those blind spots. So you're not able to see it. Very interesting. The, um, I've had so many readings with people and I, I I can the ego when it blocks stuff I can see horns on them like 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 horn like a horn here horn here they they're there all over the place and it's because their ego is um creating these blocks creating these um blind spots and they're not able to see it because it's trying to protect them um it doesn't serve you for the, the, the ego doing that is doing its best I suppose but it does not serve <laughs> it doesn't serve you um it's best to face those things right away anyway um, but this is what their issue is right now. Let's take a look here. Is there anything else, St. Germain, that you want to say about this person's life? Um, it's interesting. They don't give themselves the benefit of believing that they can have more, of believing that they deserve more. Um, it's like, it kind of like, I don't even want to think about that. It's an odd thing to, to, to for someone to do. You know how I have always been a dreamer. Mm. Always, always, always. And it's because I meant for amazing, really big things. Like, 
worldwide things, right? Worldwide scale. Um, but that dreamer energy is something I always let flourish, right? I've, I've always let, um, uh, honestly, just like r run away from me at times. And um, uh, that energy allows us to connect to a better timeline, a better frequency, but it also allows us to believe that that's possible. They don't allow themselves to believe that they that they can have a better life. They, they won't even give themselves the benefit of the doubt or even a daydream. Very interesting. I, it's real crazy. It's like the exact opposite for me. I'm all about that. I'm all about seeing it. And I know once you have that vision, you can you can create it. It is what it is. But they don't even want to allow that experience. It's real. It's real. Um, it's real sad. You, um, it's real sad. But let me see if there's any help coming towards this person. They are going to have their A star, the soul star chakra. Um, activate soon. That's going to help facilitate the change that they so desperately need. Um, there will be uh, our ace chakra. We usually hold spiritual gifts or spiritual skills and tools there that will drop into us. It's going to happen for this person. Um, a is also where we uh, talk to other beings, angels specifically. Of uh, it's what Saint Germain is highlighting right now. So they'll be able to connect more to their angels and the beings of light and. We'll see where that takes them. I don't know. But it, it's a it's very interesting. They need more truth in their life. They need it. Um, they need to know. Mm. Anyway, anything you have for Leo St. Germain? This is what he brought up the first time. Um, make sure that's not you. If it's not you, it's not you. If you don't feel anything, you're not triggered or anything like that, then it, it wasn't for you. If you are triggered, then you can guarantee that you're doing it too, like this person. Um, you deserve the best. Right. Um, you just you are worthy. That's what um, St. Jeremy wants to say, say. And your past failures um, are not a reflection of your future. Yeah. Something like that. Past failures, past failures. Is that how you want to phrase it, um, St. Jermaine? Yes. Don't let your past failures that play out in your mind hold you from better, bigger and better things. Um, it feels like your mind, the, the mind itself is what's got you. Interesting. I'll leave it there. I thank you, Leo. Don't forget to like and comment. Hi, everyone. All right. So uh, I may um, unplug my internet really quickly. And then uh, I, because it, it keeps messing up. Oh, let me see. Saint Germain, do you think he says no? He says no bother. <laughs> he says no bother doing it. Um, fine. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Let's take a look here for Virgo. Um, who's going to be answering Saint Germain? I think Saint Germain across the board. By the way, Saint Germain, can you tell me for Virgo what um, is Virgo's person's life like without Virgo in it? You know. Um, Virgo has been fairly consistent, like really consistent, but there is a change here. I feel that the person that you are um, uh, talking about is starting to feel the deficit of no love or adventure or fun in their life. So I feel like they've been about work, 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 and it's been fine, fulfilling, actually, um, gratifying. It, it was checking all the right boxes. They were feeling great about it. This is someone who um, must be comfortable financially, right? Um, or is on the way to that, that knowing, right? But now what this person is recognizing is that there is this emptiness. Um, this emptiness is the lack of fun and connection that they miss. They really do want fun and connection. They really do want um, uh, really good connections and really good people in their life. They want that now. But it hasn't really been a priority. It hasn't really been um, something that of, of great significance for this person for a long time, and definitely for the recent recent past. Um, it just I don't need it. I don't care about it. Um, no big deal. But now it's like, wait a second. I actually do want that. And now this is someone who where a path has opened up. I see it actually on the right side. It's a good good place for it to be <laughs> anyway. Um, and this path is opening up for new connections and new experiences and new. I want to say. Um, like new traveling and adventure and stuff like that, all that beautiful stuff. Um, and they're going to walk it now. Um, St. Germain says that this is what the path that they need to walk. Um, you're on it, but in the future of it. So it's important that you get like this long, there's no contact long or short. I feels like long to me. Um, 
was exactly what needed to be because now they are ready. Um, they needed to hit that moment, that epiphany, that realization where, oh, wait a second, I do want connection. And until then, they would have never appreciated you because they didn't think they needed it. Now, this is someone who's realizing, wait a second, I have this energy that requires this this experience. Um, and I need to honor that. And that's exactly what's happening currently. It's a really big shift for this person. Um, can I get a time frame, uh, St. Germain? I see it opening up now. Um, October, October is what he says this month. Um, uh, October. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, it's, I keep seeing the Wi-Fi thing and it just, it's just distracts me. It's, it's really crazy. Anyway, it's real crazy annoying. I may have to unplug it. <laughs> I'll unplug the internet and plug it back in. Anyway, um, any last thing that you want to give for the, the Virgo readers? Things are exactly where they, they're supposed to be. Um, it is a message for you. If you have workaholic tendencies, it is time for, for you to chill out, right? It is time for you to just, um, have some more fun and open yourself up more to adventure and fun and excitement, especially your synchronicities as well. Um, we get a lot, actually, I, I get so many now. It's real crazy. Um, I get, there's just, it's just a constant thing like you know uh, it just like everywhere i look um and it's time for you start to um pay attention to yours as well all right i thank you virgo don't forget to like and comment um all right so we are at actually i want to hmm change Ray, what do you think about that he says no again all right he's saying not to i was gonna restart the internet, but he says, don't bother. He says again, anyway, 41 minutes for Libra. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, Libra. Okay, let's take a look here. So, um, St. Jeremy, can you tell me what is Libra's person's uh, life without Libra in it right now? What is it like? Show me, show me, show me. All right, I have an image um, of this person. Do you know th those that childhood toy that it, it like um, you hit it with like a ball thing and it, it dings and it has like different colors? I see them on this right now. I don't know why. I see them walking on that though. Like there's this image of this person who's currently walking on that. Oh, I get it now. Um, because Saint Germain said it's about frequency, but I was like, well, how? Um, this person right now is starting to figure out what frequencies that they like, what energies that they like, and what energies that they don't like right now. And why this is such an important step for this person is they are going on a. Ooh, it's like I see them right before they're about to embark on a long journey. So they need to know exactly what it is that they want and what it is that they don't want. But what they want seems to be the key one right now. I feel like this is someone who needs to dis discern, decide what energies, what frequencies they appreciate, what they like, what resonates with them so that they can actually move in that direction. So I see it as being like this, God, I, I want like a movie, but... um. But anyway, it's like when you're in those movies where they they pan out to like the the scene and they show you how vast this this place that they're about to enter is. It's like that. They're at they're this is someone who's going through um going into a next section of life that's so big. If they weren't sure what frequencies they liked, what energies that they liked and what they desire within their heart, they would get lost. And this is exactly what the problem is. So this is someone who is um currently learning what it is that they want. Um I don't see them releasing stuff from their own life per se. I see this person being very aware about the frequencies that they need to be on the lookout for, um, the experiences that they need to be on the lookout for. And um, I want to say the opportunities as well. And this is what's currently happening for them. Let me see. Why is this happening? Um, Seems to me. Why is this currently happening? They're ready for it. There's a treasure in that vast, expanse thing that they would not be able to find without this tuning, fine tuning. Sorry. It's a uh, T U N I N G tuning. That's what they're, that's what's happening to the person right now. It's, it's called tuning, tuning. Let me write it. Um, that's really interesting. Hold on. It, it's a tuning of some kind. Yeah. Like that tuning, tuning uh, of some kind that this that's happening with this person and very, very interesting. Um, is there any clues as to what the treasure is? No, this person has to open it. It is something that they really do desire, though. 
something that this person's always looked forward to and something that this person um, would be very fulfilled by. Uh, St. Germain says that it is, hmm, it is okay that they find happiness right now. It's okay, right? Um, I don't know if who needs to hear that, but it is okay that they find happiness. Um, it's okay for you as well, if that's something you're, you, you don't know, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but he wants me to say that exact phrasing. It's okay that they find happiness. Um, it doesn't diminish your connection or you, nothing like that. Um, it's just something that, I don't know, someone needs to hear that. I think someone's subconscious, that's actually how I see it, needs to hear that. Um, because it also gives us permission to be okay with finding our own happiness with or without someone. And I guess you need to hear that. Yeah, see, that's what he's saying. This is exactly it. Um, it's okay that they find happiness. It's also okay that you do as well. Mm. Very beautiful. Anyway, um, anything else that you have, uh, uh, St. Germain, for them? Let's see. Let's see. For Libra themselves, then? That's it. Um, I think um, you still have some wounds from this connection on yourself. There are like scrapes at this point. There, there's nothing. There's nothing that significant. But I see you having some kind of wounds still. Um, Saint Germain says it's it's about time that you finish healing off those things that have been plaguing you. It's kind of like having a scab, and you can just remove it like that but you have to be willing to remove it, stuff like that, and heal it. There are scabs on you right now. Um, let me see how St. Germain suggests that you do it. He is saying the candle that I'm doing, uh, the 7 candle, is a really good, easy way to heal and remove those scabs on you. <laughs> it's advertising, but it is it is the truth. So if you are interested in that, the 7 day candle is for healing. It also is for the new moon in Libra, by the way. So I, I'm not surprised that that came through. Um but it, it is for that. It's for a new start, a fresh start. Um, if you are interested in that, check it out. Um, yeah, anyway, I thank you. Um, I thank you, Libra. Don't forget to like and comment. And hi, everyone. All right, so we're at 46. 40. <sighs> okay, yes, yes, we're okay. Okay. All right, so um, St. Germain, can you tell me um, for Scorpio? Let me write Scorpio. Okay, let's take a look here. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Um, let's take a look here. Saint Germain, can you tell me for Scorpio, what is there a person's life like without Scorpio in it? The no contact. All righties, I see this person making plans for where they want to go and where they want to end up. It is an interesting thing. Um, maybe it's not plans. Okay, so what St. Germain showed me is a really big board. But you know how those, I just watched this, so I do have to say it. Um, you know how if you watch Only Murders in the Building, um, they have their, their murder board, their suspect board, essentially. They are doing this for some reason. I don't know. Um, I think that there is a spiritual meaning, a spiritual purpose behind this, because it feels like this is someone who's searching for the root core cause of some issues that they've always had with themselves and of some uh, uh, long-standing patterns that they've had. You know, it's kind of like where you try to figure out where does this originate from? Where does this come from? Usually it's from our past or even our lineage or even some kind of past life influence. People are shocked at how big a past life influence affects you, but it's crazy. I mean, it is like, it almost controls you, really, real crazy. Um, but this is someone who's currently looking at where does this come from because they want to solve it and fix it. So I see them trying to better themselves, but they're looking for suspects right now. Um, they could be um, doing that like for their life to try to, to, to make sure that they don't fall into some kind of trap. A lot of people like to do this. Um, I, I've gotten so many private readings that where it's, it's they people say this. It's a constant thing I hear. I don't want to get, I don't want to have another person like that again or something like that. And I'm just like, okay, all right. Um, you know, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, right? You know, and I think they could be doing that too, but it feels more of the root core cause. Like, why is this happening? Or uh, why is this pattern keep repeating itself? Or why haven't I learned this karmic lesson? There's something like this at play here. And 
um, it's a really big thing. Their mind is finally opening up. When you put stuff on the board, your mind expands. And that is what the key is Saint Germain saying is. Um, when they put it there, they can see it. Um, my natural <laughs> mind is like a mega big perspective. So I always see everything. But this is someone, their mind is all about those details. So they need an experience like that. If you have a very detail oriented mind, you may need this as well. Um, but this board, this magic board that they have up, it allows them to see uh, and connect the dots that they were not able to see. And that is why it's so significant. That is why it's so important. Let's see, what else about the Saint Germain uh, for Scorpio, that, that a Scorpio's person they need to know? They really are trying to fix themselves. Really, they're really trying to. It is like, I, I, I need to fix this. I need things to change with myself with my life and with those around me. Very interesting. Very interesting. They, they, they're they very committed to change. I don't know what happened. Normally, <laughs> normally, uh, we usually go through really bad experiences before we can make that. Um, I will never go back, you know, uh, you know, energy, you know, all of us have been there where you've had something repeat constantly and it hits, it gets so bad that we say never again. I feels like they've had that experience with something and they're now starting to look at their life and thinking I'm not having any that ever again. And, um, see a lot of other people always that anyway, it's, it's very funny. It's very, very interesting energy. Anything else about this or anything you want to say to Scorpio? Uh, uh, St. Jeremy says that your heart is heavy. Um, Scorpio. Some of the stuff that you're holding within your heart isn't yours. It comes from other people. Um, it comes from their life experience. We often take on people's pain. We all often do. Like anytime I do readings, um, I'm immediately taking on people's uh, heaviness. I get, it's like an instant transaction. It's real crazy. But I feel you have a lot of it. And you may be having a difficult time healing right now. It is okay to go get healed. I'm not offering this, by the way. But if you feel called to get healed by anyone or um, to receive some type of healing, it is okay. Um, and it will really benefit you. But a lot of what you're holding within your heart space is not yours. It comes from other people. Um, it comes from their situations. Um, and you've taken it upon yourself. You've taken it within yourself. Um, and St. Germain is saying this to who, those who need to hear it that you don't need to hold it. Um, you can release it, all of it. And you really can. You'll be grateful for that as well, that release, okay? Um, that's all I got for you, uh, Scorpio. I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, okay, so we're at 52 minutes for Sagittarius. Let's see. Take a look here. All righty. So let's take a look here, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So, uh, St. Jimmy, can you tell me what are... Sag Sagittarius is no what Sagittarius is person life without Sagittarius in it. Um let me see the image. Hold on, I gotta I gotta do, gotta check this again. So right now this person is uh in a period of thinking about what they want to do next. There is a fast path that they are thinking about taking that they know is gonna get them to where they want to be in life, and I wanna say where they want to catch up to you by as well. It's such an odd thing. I think it's been the theme of the Sagittarius reading. I always forget, but it's like this person wants to be by your side. They want to catch up to you. They want to have you back in their life, um, but they need to go through change to get this to happen. And innately, intuitively, energetically, they absolutely know I need to be different. Um, they are fighting that good fight for consciousness, by the way, but um, the what message I have for what their life is like is that there is this portal I don't know what this portal is, by the way, but this big portal, it can fast track them to where they want to go. It's like a wormhole of some kind. Um, they are thinking about walking through it, but they are scared. Um, this person, one of the biggest fears that they have is that they're going to do all of this and get nothing um, and, and not be rewarded for the work that they put in. Uh, it is obviously a construct of the mind um, that makes this person really believe this, but um, we always benefit when we better ourselves. Always. It cha actually changes our entire life <laughs> whenever we heal, whenever we put the work in. Your entire life changes. And I'm not joking about that. It's like where you would have ended up would be completely different if you took the time to heal. Like, I mean, uh, 
it's shocking just how different it is. And this is someone who's thinking about, you know, what if I were to really put the work and really try, would I even make it to Sagittarius? Would I even make it to that destination, that thing I envision? In fact, I think this person has received a vision that is helping them move in that direction, but they don't believe it. Um, they're struggling to believe it. And why? The mind, the human mind. Um, but they're fighting that good fight, again, for consciousness. Um, let's see. How is this person receiving help, St. Germain, right now? They're angels. I see two guardian angels pushing them in that direction. Like, just go. <laughs> just give it a try. Um, so I do feel they're going to walk through this really fast portal that is going to get them to have a massive change in their life. Um, whenever we walk through portals, um, they rapidly shift your life, by the way, rapidly. Um, and I got to be honest with you because I, I'm bringing the portal. Um, I am in my guided meditation I'm doing next Saturday. We are op I open up a portal. I'm going to open one up for everyone. So if you are interested in that, that sticks out to you. Um, you may want to check it out anyway. Um, but this is someone who's like, it's there. I should walk. I should try it. And they're not going to yet, but I feel like there's hope here. I feel like this person is truly going to give it a shot. Um, it's sorry. St. Germain says it's like investing in yourself for the very first time. Um, investing in you. Very interesting. N not like you, you, I mean, in you investing in yourself, right? Um, very beautiful. Very interesting. Let's see anything else that you want to say for Sagittarius, this person's life right now. It's been a struggle for this person. They've been fighting um, for more. They've been fighting and striving for more. They don't want to give up. They don't. They have that fight in them right now. And they're feeling very inspired as well. Um, portals like that don't open up too often. They just don't. Um, uh, and this is someone whose energy knows. You know, if you know, if you notice that. Or when you're like, your life's gone real bad and you're like, oh, this sucks. And then you just know somehow, right? It's going to get better. In fact, I just know. And that's the feeling that they have right now. Like, sure, their life's not been that great. But they they know that this opportunity, this portal, whether they are conscious of it or not, is the key to them having a better life. And that just having that option, it's filling them up with hope, belief. And it's it, the more hope and belief that they have, the more likely they are to walk through the portal itself. So it's very interesting, real beautiful energy. Any anything else you want to say? Anything you want to say to Sagittarius themselves? He said, uh, Saint Germain says, keep going. There is um, it's just an odd thing. I'm seeing, you know, is it Flash the 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 person Flash? I, I the, the sorry the DC hero Flash. I'm seeing Flash move through a, a, a red light, it's not a red light, a stop sign, a stop sign. Um, St. Jimmy says, keep going. Don't stop. Um, uh, don't hit any stop signs. I, I don't know what, why you need to hear that or how this is going to pop up in your life, but it is important that you keep going. Um, that's it. That was it. It was just that image, like the flash, the flash of a flash. <laughs> anyway, uh, is what I got. Anyway, I thank you, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like and comment. Um, let's take a look here. We're at fifty-seven. Five for Capricorn. Let's take a look here. Sorry if the internet is like buggy. Everyone, I don't know. This is what it is. Okay, let's take a look here. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Um, Saint Germain, can you tell me what is Capricorn's person's life like without Capricorn? And it very relieved. I normally I get this for the Capricorn people. Just you're like I feel like the experience with you and probably the ending with you was a very triggering experience. And this is someone who's not really looking for a repeat anytime soon. Um, ooh, the air came up. Yeah. I'm, very wounded, very uh, much bitter. I think it comes in waves because um, that's what St. Germain showing me. It's like waves hit them. And, um, oh, I know what it's doing. The waves that are hitting this person, they draw out the negativity. Does that make sense? I, I didn't realize that's what, that, that's what, because I've been hit by waves constantly. And I've been wondering, what is it doing? <laughs> what, what is the wave doing to me? Um it draws out your negativity and pushes out. So you feel it a little bit, right? Like, oh, I feel extra bad right now. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> it's that feeling. Uh, what's happening right now is they have waves of energy hitting them. It's drawing out the negativity, but then they feel bad, right? But then it's gone very quickly. So it's leaving them completely and permanently. So they're in that phase right now of, um, sorry, St. Jeremy says it's like a phase of grief uh, where they're having that, that stuff just be released 
through each of these waves. Um, they're very powerful waves, um, yet very gentle at the same time. Uh, let's see, what else um, is this person's life like without Capricorn in it? Um, sorry, they're showing me an image. Let's take a look here. They're going through a massive transformation as well. I'm seeing them surrounded by so much light. Like this light is going to lift them up. It's going to fill them up with more light. The more light that we have in our body, the lighter we are. It is, it is, it's, it's like a, it's literal, right? The more light we have, the lighter we become and the less heavy we are. So right now this person is going through a bit of a transformation where they're releasing all that heaviness and they're becoming lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Let's see where they're headed. Where is this person headed right now? It's not clear. Sorry, St. Germain says it's not clear um, where they're headed. It all depends on how much they're willing to release. Um, you know, we get so much help here. Like, we, it, it's it's unbelievable how much help and support that we receive in this place. Like, it's it's unbelievable. It's a cold crazy. Um, but what happens often is that people reject it. People say no. People don't want it, right? Or people want to have a fit or something. Or, uh, you know, or just want to be angry. Um so that dictates and determines how effective what they are receiving is going to be. And that also will affect where they end up because, well, what energy they hold within themselves is the key. So it is unclear where this person will go. It's unclear how effective this will be and how much they're willing to let go of. But they are receiving so much support and they're receiving so much energy to better themselves, whether they take it or not, who knows? Um St. Germain says it's about a 40% chance someone will take it, the, the help in, um, that they re they're receiving, 40% chance. Most people just keep rejecting it. it. It will come back, that energy. It will try again, um, but it's like very slim chance that you will actually end up taking it. Um, most people don't want to not be angry anymore, or to not be wounded anymore, right? You want to be the victim or you want to you want to hold on to that narrative. And this is someone where it, it feels like they, they're not quite ready to let go of that narrative that they're the victim, that they've been hurt by you, and that they're triggered by you. Mm, very interesting. Let's see. Is there anything else, St. Germain? Anything you want to say to Capricorn then? It is a, something to take note of, something to bring to your light and your intention. Um, there is a a cutting version of you that can be very, I don't know if means the right word, harsh. Um, it, it's there within yourself. You do it to yourself, which is why it expresses itself as you being this way. Um, St. Germain just wants to bring that to your attention. Um if you need help seeing this, you can ask your higher self to help notify you whenever you're embodying this energy, because I think you need to learn more about this energy that you have within yourself. It is a, a it can be vicious. Let me see. Um, it's resentful. Oof, that it real, that way, really very. Oh, it's like, it's it, there's a resentful n energy within you, better energy within you. Um, and you can ask your higher self to uh, um, help you identify it when it pops up so that you can actually face it head on. So your higher self won't allow your ego to block this anymore or block you from seeing it. But you are, I feel like you forgot um, how sweet you are and um, how much love you can embody and how much love you have within yourself and how much love you can give out to the entire world. It's like you forgot. And the world needs you to remember um, needs to remember how powerful love is and to begin with, but also remember your connection to love because you have a very strong connection to it. Um, and it's not really being utilized right now because of that part. It's like block. I actually see it stepping ahead of you, stepping ahead of your heart, and it's what's slicing and dicing. Um, but if you were to remove that, then your love will naturally pour out. Very interesting. That's all I got for you, Capricorn. Thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. All righty. So let's take a look here. We're at Aquarius. One hour. All righty, let's take a look here. Uh, I hope the I hope everything's good. Um, my internet. I, I, I anyway. <laughs> oh, let's see, Aquarius. Saint Germain, can you tell me what are Aquarius's person? No, sorry. What's Aquarius's person's life without Aquarius in it? Um. Hmm. I do feel this person is happy. Let me take a look here. Um. I see them. 
um, I see this person looking at their life right now and they're, it's filled with optimism and hope. It's filled with belief as well. They're feeling mighty good about their life right now. And it's not that their life is perfect or life is exactly where they want it to be, but they feel connected to the path that will get them there. They feel connected to um, the energy that will help them there. It's interesting. Um, St. Germain says it's like these, this energy that they're using or they're holding on to. It's kind of like a string that you're pulling onto and you're walking a path. And it's leading you there. And you just know like, when you get to the end of this, you're going to be so damn happy. And you're, you're happy throughout the whole experience as well. And right now, this person is connecting to a timeline, right? To a, um, a path that is going to lead them to a lot of abundance, a lot of success, um, financial, all that good stuff, a a everything, right? Um, everything that they want, everything that they desire. So right now they're feeling pretty good about themselves. They're feeling pretty good about where they are. Um, like it was all worth it. Like what they're doing has been worth it. You know, what's interesting. St. Germain says it's very typical because we can't see with our eyes what's coming, right? But there's the energy is there. It's moving towards us. This is actually what psychics use, right? To determine what's coming for you, right? Um, but it's like, our energy does in intuitively know that the next thing that's coming is going to be a big, big thing that's going to be so fun and exciting. So they know it in their heart and that's what they're using. That's what they're feeling. And it's a beautiful thing. Um, so they're feeling really good about the next chapter of their life. They're feeling really good about the next step, the next phase. Um, it's like, they want to cry almost. Sorry, this it makes me really emotional. It, it's like they almost want to cry. Anyway, let's see, let's see. Um, is there anything else, anything else that you want to say, um, Saint Germain, about this, about this person's life? It is long overdue. They have worked hard for this, by the way, as well. This person is, um, I think they've always been a good person. You know how some people have a person that you know they there's a lot of, there's a lot they're they're a good person but very very deep right i think your person um was a good person not buried that deep um but they were not able to navigate life that well or they were not able to express themselves that well or they're not able to take action that well i don't know right um but they've always had that good i'm a good per like they're that good hearted person um within them. It was always there. I think it was always coming out. They're always trying their best to be this. Um, it's almost like they're, it, it's because they've always kept that part of them out in the world. They've had less to heal per se. And it's like, they're benefiting from that because they're about to hit a new cycle, a new chapter that most people don't reach. Um, and this is a really, really beautiful thing. Anyway, um, is there anything else that you want to say about about a courageous person, of courageous person, uh, Saint Germain. They deserve it. They're worth it. There are a few surprises coming for them as well. I believe this is for you as well. Um, uh, can you tell me more? Anything you want to say specifically to a crazy viewers? Let's take a look here. Yes, there is something coming up for you, Aquarius. I actually see it like um like a, a swirl of energy, it moved clockwise. I don't know why it's being highlighted. Um, a swirl of energy moving clockwise that you're about to step on. It is going to be a very transformative experience for you. What does it do, uh, St. Germain? What is this experience that Aquarius is about to step on to going to do for them? It is, okay, I have it. It, it is, uh, uh, oh, sometimes this is hard to explain, but what it's gonna do is gonna change all your clothes it's going to change all your gear, all your technology that you're using, the ones that we have on us and our spiritual body. It's going to upgrade you. Yeah, oh, there it is. Ah, you're going to hit an upgrade or something. Oh, I was wondering what I was like, what is this? I, what would you like? It's like, it's improved clothing. <laughs> it's improved technology. Oh, it's an upgrade. You're going to be receiving an upgrade soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, that's going to help you, especially for those who are looking to hit the next frequency, the next level in terms of career, purpose, blah, blah, blah. You need a you, you need an upgrade to match that frequency, and it's about to hit you. So it's well-deserved. Accept it. <clears throat> um, you're worth it, okay? So like got for you, Chris. I thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's see. Oh, this internet. It just, it won't stop bugging. Okay, 50. Oh, my throat. Okay. Oh, 
good stuff right now. Okay. So, um, St. Germain, can you tell me what is Pisces as person's life like without Pisces in it? Let's take a look here, Pisces. Oh, that internet. Mm. I, I, I'm looking at a place tomorrow, Pisces, so I'm very excited about it, by the way. I am so happy about this, uh, the new place. Actually, I think I'm going to love it. I think I have that innate feeling I'm going to move into this place. Um, it'd be way better internet. I hope so, anyway. <laughs> Huh, I digress. So Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Can you tell me what is a uh, Pisces person's life like without Pisces in it? See the vision I'm going to have. Ooh, uh, <laughs> I see them currently. There's this really big forest. And when I say this forest is big, I mean it is big. And they're right outside of it. They know they have to make their way through this forest if, if they want to have the life that they want. But they are not so sure about this. Um... Sorry, it's Saint Germain says it's kind of like those forests that you like in the Lord of the Rings, or it, I, I don't know, like you know, oh, the, you, you know, you should only ever pass if you absolutely need to. <laughs> it does feel like that, sorry. <laughs> um, but it is one of those things. Like this is someone who they they know that what they want is just beyond this forest, um, but they have to walk that forest that they're very scared of. Let's see what's here. What, what are the fears that are here, St. Germain, in this forest for this person? Um, memory lane is one. That's a big one for this person. <sighs> it's an interesting thing. Um, in our past lives, we have often hurt people physically, mentally, all that stuff. Like we've all been the perpetrator as well as the victim, right? Because that's how the cycles work. This person has to face some of their stuff they did in the past in this forest. And intuitively, they know that that's going to come up and they're going to have to uh, face that. I've had stuff like that hit me too. And it's like, you just have to, like, I did it. All right. You know, <laughs> like I have, I, I forgive myself. I had some positives, but you know, you have to say, I, you know, it's like, I did that. Yeah. Anyway, but there is, there are some past life influences where they've hurt people that they don't want to face, that they intuitively, innately know that they're going to have to deal with and face. Um, th this is there as well. Stuff about their mother um, is coming through as well. Uh, so these are the things that they kind of, that they innately, intuitively know they, they will have to face, they will have to deal with, they will have to overcome. And they're not so sure about that. They do know they want to get through the forest, right? But they're not sure if they want to go through those things to get through the forest. And this is kind of where they are right now. Let me see if this person is going to walk in, walk out. Um, this forest or this place that they've been in, they've been in since September um, last month. And they have not moved in. Let me take a look here. Do you see this changing, St. Germain? Um, he says for some, yes. He's saying about two out of ten. Um, will move into the forest uh, over the next month. Um, um, most of them will not. They're too scared to face those things. They're too scared to look under that hood. They're too scared to open up that can of worms. Um, why is there such fear about that, uh, St. Germain, that specific thing, opening up the can of worms? Let's take a look here. Let's see. Um, it is to do with the human thing. You know how all of us... I'm sure you all do it, and um, just so you know, it's making your life very frustrating. How all of us want to have, how we want our life to go in a certain way. We want our um, experience to happen in a certain pattern. We want things in our control, right? Um, but in reality, can we all be real about that? None of it is in our control when it comes to what's happening out here, right? We have to just accept as is, right? Just accept what is. Very difficult. This person doesn't want to accept what is, which is keeping them from moving through this. You may have the same issue, though. That's kind of what it felt like to me, where you're having trouble with that. When we don't accept what is, it makes our life so frustrating. It is like a horrible experience. So understand that no matter what, you do have to accept what is. So you might as well accept it so that it doesn't make your life frustrating. So you do you, but it is a key. It's it's key to how I get to where I am. But um, I feel like this is someone who's struggling with that currently. They're, they're struggling to accept that this is exactly what they need to go through to get to exactly where they want to go to. And it's, it's there. That's why they don't want to open up this can of worms. That's why they don't want to... Um, try this because how their mind is planning things out. This is how things are going to go for me. Um, this isn't part of that plan. And it, they just won't factor it in. Very interesting. They won't surrender. That's what St. Germain says. It's a surrendering, right? Um, surrendering to what is and moving through it. 
It's exact, exactly what they have to go through. Let's see. Uh, anything else? Anything that you have specifically for um, Pisces themselves? Uh, again, sorry about the internet, everyone. I hope the sound is fine. Anyway, uh, anything for Pisces themselves? Let's take a look here. Hmm. Um, St. Germain says, uh, it's a good time for you. I want to say from now to the end of the year to, for you to really hone in your psychic abilities, your intuition specifically to have razor sharp intuition, but, um, also your psychic gifts as well. I don't know what's happening. The planets affect our abilities, um, to a certain extent. Um, they used to affect minds. Now they don't. I don't know. So I get, I don't know, but I have a lot of power now, so I don't know. But I do know before my abilities used to be very much affected by what was happening with the planets. And um, I think whatever is happening with the planets right now would be very helpful for you to train your psychic abilities. So it's probably opening up the channel. So keep that in mind. If you feel called to develop your gifts, this will be a good time to do it. All right. That's all I got for you, Pisces. Thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. Hi, everyone. Um, I thank all of you for being here. I appreciate all of you. And I hope to see you tomorrow. If not, take care. Bye.